This will be an image texture tutorial. I will open up Anime Studio Debut 7 as we can see here. Let's get rid of this and open up a new project in Anime. We will need a basic shape. So I will select the draw shape tool and use a triangle shape. I will draw a triangle shape and I will select it with the select shape tool. When it is selected it has a checkboard pattern to it. To write then we can see that we have the possibility to use two effects. I will only choose the image texture effect but you can also use a gradient or effect or some other effect here if you want to. To choose an image effect I use the effect one here and I go down to the image texture in the drop down list. On the select texture I can choose an image that I want to use as a texture for this shape. I have already prepared an image called one. If the image is not big enough to fit over the shape it is a good idea to tile it. Then it will fill out the whole shape. Uh, repeat itself until it fills out the whole shape. If you can also choose not to repeat, but I will choose to repeat my shape or <laughs> repeat my picture over my shape. You can see now that the picture was rather big, but you can change the size of the picture by dragging around the upper circle. If you bring the circle down, the picture becomes smaller. If you bring it up, it becomes bigger. You can also twist the image by moving it sideways. I want quite many pictures in my shape. In the lower circle, you can move around the picture over the shape. Now we have set up the basics. Now to the more interesting stuff. The thing that I showed earlier in this tutorial is the thing you have to know about bones here that will bring that uh, to you. So go down to new layer and you select bone layer. In the bone layer you can create a new bone. Select the add bone bottom. Draw a new bone over the picture layer but in the bone layer. You see it to the right that this is the bone layer that is marked here. Now you have a bone in the bone layer. Now you can add the picture layer by dragging the picture layer on top of the bone layer. The bone layer will now become red. If you release the mouse button the picture layer will belong to the bone layer and be connected. You can see that by the description I moved to the right in the picture layer. Now that we have the picture layer connected to the bone layer, we can move the bone around and the picture will follow. I will do this by going to picture frame 24 and I will select the bone layer and I will have the select bone tool marked. Like that. Now I can translate the bone. By translating the bone that means that I can move it. So I will move it up to the left corner of the picture. In frame 48 I will move, not only move the picture down to the right frame, I will also rotate the bone. And I will change its size.
Sorry about that. Something like this. Now it's a good idea to render this movie so that it will become exactly the one I showed you earlier in the tutorial. Thanks for listening.